Hello. In this short couple of videos, we're going to be looking at some questions on angles. Now, there's only really two crucial things you need to remember. Firstly, an angle is a measurement of how far something's turning or turned. Now, by the time you see lines on a piece of paper, of course, one of them's already been turned. So when you see an angle, they usually put it here in the joint, in the hinge or at the vertex. But actually, it's just a measurement of how many degrees it would take to get this line down to this one or to get this one up to this one. So that's what an angle is, an amount of turn. Crucial numbers, 90. OK, that looks right for the corner of a room. So we call that a right angle. Uh, 180, I'm sure you know, is halfway and then all the way around 360 degrees. Key things, in a triangle there's 180, in a quadrilateral there's always 360. And the way to remember that is you can cut any four-sided shape by joining the diagonal and you've got two triangles, two lots of 180. Okay, so those are the crucial things. Let's dive in. All right, question one. Draw a line to join each angle to the word that correctly describes it. So you often get these questions where you have to link things. So uh, let's have a look. We've got acute, right, reflex, and obtuse. Um, I always remember, uh, oh, look at that acute little thing. So acute little thing is small for me. So the smallest angle, there we go, 34 degrees. It's less than 90 degrees. That's actually what acute means, less than 90. You don't have to write that, but that's it. Now, 90, of course, is a right angle. So that's nice and easy. And then um, slightly bigger than that, um, an obtuse angle, anything bigger than 90, a turn that's more than a right angle, but not an entire half turn, is an obtuse. So that one there is obtuse, 134 degrees. And over 180, anything over 180 has almost like flexed itself right round. That's how I remember it. So reflex angle, 234. There we go. Two marks for us. Excellent. On to question two. All right, here we go. Now calculate the size of angle D. Remember what we said, a triangle always has 180 degrees in it. And in this triangle, we're given two of the three angles already. So it really is very simple. It's a question of finding out the total of those. And that would be 143. And so how much more do we have to have? to get us to 180. Well, let's do a straightforward. Uh, I can either do it in my head. 140, one, 143 to 150, that's seven. And 150 to 180, that's another 30. So the answer is 37 degrees, but uh, you can do it much more formally. 180 minus 100. And 43. Sometimes when you're under pressure, the formal methods are very useful to fall back on. So I'm going to do what I'm sure you all know. And I get the same answer. And I get two marks. There we go. Moving on to question three. Calculate the size of the missing angle shown with the question mark. So whenever I've got a circle, I've got 360 degrees. Remember, if I was to turn all the way around and end up where I started, that's 360. Uh, which makes this a pretty straightforward question, I think, because um, if I was to start here, for example, and turn around there, that's 92 degrees, and there's another 165 degrees. So very similar to the previous question, I just have to say, okay, so there's 360 degrees, and I have to take away what I've got already, and that will give me the answer. So very quickly, 165 and 92. I'm not going to try and do that in my head. 5 and 2 is 7. 6 and 9 is 15. 257. Hmm. Do you know what? I think I can do that in my head because that's really nearly 260, right? So I think that's 103. 3 to get to 260 and another 100. But again, exam technique. Let's, uh, let's be strategic. If you're not confident... There's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. And hopefully we will get 103, which is quite a relief. Don't forget to put the answer in the box if there is a box to get your two marks. Let's have a look at question four then. <clears throat> so calculate the size of angle E. 
always, by the way, it's something I should have said earlier. This means don't get a protractor out or a ruler out. You can't guarantee that they are drawn to scale. In fact, I can guarantee they're not because I made these. So there we go. And it's a simple, simple enough thing. We've got a triangle. We know these make 180. So we do exactly the same thing. I've got 34 and 27. Those are the two angles I have at the moment, giving me 61. If that was 60, I'd need another 120, but because it's a little bigger, I'm going to go for 119 as the answer. But again, remember what we said. If you're in any doubt, oops, just play safe. Just do the subtraction, okay? And uh, especially, especially on a two-mark question, all right? Especially on the two-mark question, because if you make a mistake, you might still get a mark for your working. Got to be smart. All right, and that is the first four questions on the angles paper.